welcome back everyone this is your boy Yotek and in today's video I'll be showing you how to use this very nice application you can definitely use for your recording for example let's say you shoot a video a YouTube video or any kind of video and your audio is terrible you can just import the audio here and you boost it up and every other thing instead of looking for a PC okay so let's get into it the name of the application is Lexi audio editor let me show you this is the application just go to your play store or your ios stuff just download it there okay very straightforward so let's open the application actually i just made this very short recording because if i say i want to record at the same time while doing this video it will not permit me you know i'm using a screen recorder okay so let me play the video let's say video audio rather hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing a very quick review on lexi audio editor okay as you can hear very very nice screen and okay so let me show you things this application can really do why i prefer to use this app and it's one of my very best application for recording you can use it to record internally or externally anyone you prefer okay so now the major reason why i prefer is this first aspect this is your record volume from this place you can choose the level of input you want so depending on your input source you can choose that so if it is too heavy you can reduce it so you can control that here and also there is a features here that you can see here so you can let me brighten up my screen please okay so like this nice features here that we have here is like here also monitor you can see the wave there so once you get to the red then you should know you are clipping if it is green then it's still okay but if it is minus try to just you understand just move it around the green part that is better than getting to that red part okay so the, this aspect here this one is just the player button this is the pause this is the record button this is the record but it's just that when you switch this one on it will work with this and this is the stop button okay so this is the major area that shows you the entire with what your audio looks like okay like every other software we have the open save zoom and every other thing okay so now let me play this audio once again so that you hear it clearly now Hi guys, this is your boy Yo Tech, and in today's video, I'll be doing a very quick review on Lexi Audio Editor. It's a very nice application that will be very useful. So let's get in the video. Okay, as you can hear, it's very very nice. Okay, now let's now check what are some other things this application can do. For example, let's say this is the audio I record from my camera or through my microphone, and it's maybe it's not too loud. You need something at least very clear and audible, but at the same time not uh, not not clipping okay so all you need to do is just come here come to this three dot here click on it so let me click there now so once you click on it it will open now you can import any file assuming i don't have any audio here you can import through that your import and mix okay then if you come to this place we have the effect there it's a very very nice thing i love using effect okay now let's check what is under our effect for some of you that have been following my picture on my videos on youtube you see i've, I've explained how you can use um, application like cool edit pro wave pad and the rest so like those effect all these like fade in fade out uh, amplification equalizer and every other thing that you can do there there are some minor ones you can still do here okay so it's just due to the nature of this audio that is why i cannot do fade in right now okay now we have normalized there we have reverse where you can change your pitch you can change the tempo of the song you can change you can change the speed reduce noise compressor and the major aspect i really love the most because i'm not after effects since it's not a music production okay so this one is just audio for my videos or my audio so that i want to be very clear and more louder okay so for you to make it more louder you just need to come to this amplify or equalizer for example you can play it here now hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing okay so in case maybe your own audio you like bass this side here is bass hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing a very quick review on lexi audio editor it's a very nice application that will be very useful so let's get in the video let's start okay boy i don't like that okay so that is for the equalizer you can put your eq you understand and if you don't want eq just switch it off Play. hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing the real voice there okay i like the eq let me just I, I'll just play around your settings till you get what really suits you okay then one major nice thing there is a pre amplification for example let, let, let me step this audio down now let me just scroll it to the back 
then you see let's say this audio is too loud it's clipping or rough one kind you can drop it now if i if i play from beginning now hi guys this is your boy you take and it's today drop okay now if you want to increase it let's say now this is the initial wave of this song of this audio is not too loud then you can increase it but at the same time don't increase to the end because it will be too rough okay anything plus so far you are the plus side is okay okay so let's apply and let's see now to boost up back now okay so the higher the db level uh, the more louder your music but at the same time don't make it hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing a very quick review on lexi okay so if i still want more of that so i just need to just boost it to a level that it will not it will not clip and at the same time it's still very neat okay so let me say my 15, 14 or 15 that should be okay for me I don't want to get to the 24 which is the peak okay okay let's see this hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing a very quick review on it's clipping already so definitely if i play around my 8 10 11 that should be okay for me okay guys so th th those are part of things this application can really do and if you still google there you can see you can change your tempo your speed and every other thing you can play around with them okay let me just control z this place a bit so that i can let me just return it to my initial wave okay okay now so hi guys this is your boy you take and in today's video i'll be doing a tempo now for example or oh, let's just play with one more effect before we wrap it up okay let's say say i want to increase the speed of this song and this audio right there Hi guys, this is your boy Yo Tech and in today's video I'll be doing a very quick review on Lexi Audio Editor. It's a very nice application, I'll be very useful, so let's get into the video. Based okay. on what you want, you can do that. If it is the tempo, you can do if it is the speed, then the pitch, you can still play around with it too. Hi guys, this is your boy Yo Tech and in today's video I'll be doing a very quick review on Lexi Audio Editor. It's a very nice application that will be very useful, so let's get in the video and let's start. So sometimes, based on the nature of what you want to do, you may need some stuff like that. So this application is a very nice one. A lot of works are inside. So just take your time, study it. You can convert from mono to stereo, stereo to mono. Anyone, you can remove your vocal. Let's say this is a this is a complete audio that have um, music that has instruments and every other thing. All you have to do is just scroll down, come to this place, then click on that remove vocal to take you to the cloud. That is, you must be connected to the internet. Want to take it automatically to figure out the voice there and it will it will remove the vocal part of it and you are good to go and let's say maybe you want to remove the instrument which is the accompaniment you can remove it and it will be left with just the vocal part alone okay so guys if you find this video very helpful do it to like and subscribe to this channel see you in my next video thank you